Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. This is the important slide, right? That what you will get it when you will have CPQ plus build. So first thing, as I said, it will give you the entirely uh, smooth life cycle from coding and even think about it, uh, though for generating an invoice, as, as I said, contract is not required. However, since it is in CPQ, you can still honor your contract. What does that mean? I mean, you, if your, let's say, if your contract is, let's say, expired or about to expire, of course, your CPQ will take care of it. There, if there is no renewal, then there will be no order placed on that contract. Then if there is no order, no billing, right? So, so you can also, uh, you know, um, stop those types of transactions based on the contract within the CPQ. And in CPQ, if there is no order, then no billing uh, invoicing is there, right? Most important, as I said, uh, the performance part. The performance part is because there is no integration is required. This both applications are in the same system. Database is shared by the same, right? And product inventory, pricing inventory, all are same. Objects are even same. So you, you do not need a separate, separate team to maintain product and pricing. It's all going to be the same. And then you are just going to utilize that uh, 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 power. And most importantly, uh, again, it's not a mandatory, but here I mentioned it, that now Salesforce has this artificial intelligence, right, and strain. So if you are using that as a power, tool for sales and invoicing uh, that is also very very going to enhance the performance but AI in uh, I think CPQ to some extent client started using it in billing so far I didn't implement and I've never seen for now but Salesforce is doing that slowly coming with all the different scenarios where AI is coming to picture Right now, the more focus on the sales oriented, right? To for sales forecasting, product recommendation, pricing guidance. Uh, there, all you will see the Einstein is uh, AI is there in, in Salesforce ecosystem. So at the last, if you if you see the last paragraph, still at the last, CPQ and billing solutions complement the enterprise resource planning the ERP system platform, right? So basically what billing is doing, billing is trying to collect all the transactional data. So being your invoice, being your payments, uh, 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 taxes, and all those things, right? These are all transactional data, which is collected by billing and then feeding to ERP systems what is they actually need for, what they are looking for. The final numbers, right? That is where these ERP tools are, okay? So when you go more deeper into it, you will realize, and and most importantly, I mean, uh, if you already worked on ERP system, then it is very very evident and clear, right? When you start seeing the billing. But if you if you do not work on the ERP system, that is where that our mind is always going back there. Why billing? Why not ERP? But those who worked on ERP, they know what are the limitations in the ERP, right? And that is where they can automatically find fit this billing system. But I'm trying to highlight because of course we can't go the whole ERP thing. On a high level I'm saying the most important problem in the ERP is the recurring invoices, usage based invoices, those where it's and and nothing is designed based on the contract based. All are typically designed based on the product skills based and uh, the whole ERP planning, resource planning and all right. So that is where this billing comes more customer centric. And of course your sales and invoicing is going to be tightly integrated under one application. And at the last one good part is billing is on the Salesforce platform. Now there is a sometimes question between, okay, as a customer, they will ask why not Zora billing versus Salesforce billing. We are, I mean, I, I, I went into multiple discovery sessions with the client. And their question was not why billing versus ERP system. I mean, most of the time the question was uh, Zora between uh, Zora billing or Salesforce billing. Both are specialized in recurring and usage based 
then the question is which one should client should go with right when when there is a product recommendation workshop it is being planned by the client so answer is quite evident right zora is of course a very powerful tool no doubt in terms of billing or billing in the sense again the invoice and all but what is the problem and again just i'm letting you know because this is one of the competitor or strongest competitor of salesforce billing so problem with zora is not that the tool is bad the whole problem is that there is a not a smooth transitioning of data from salesforce cpq to zora billing why the very first problem is that zora has is a different system it requires an integration there is no connection between salesforce cpq and zora billing that is the first problem you may say that what's the problem i will build that integration that's fine the second problem is that the product structure zora has a completely different way to handle products and pricing whereas cpq has a completely different way so you have to build a all transformation layer that okay salesforce because ultimately your product master system will be your salesforce cpq so as a product team i will go create products update products in salesforce cpq only and based on that your transformation layer will transform the entire data the way zora is looking at or zora wants it likewise that is the i mean the problem is it's entirely different system zora didn't understand the salesforce cpq object structure schema and all and all so you have to build a very i mean in very i think good amount of time is going in making that uh, you know transformation layer of integration to send the order pricing products account customer information right every single things from salesforce to zora you required a transformation layer well earlier there was no salesforce billing and even billing was there but very not matured i mean i implemented zora billing for multiple clients right and then the the flow was that order was going to zora zora billing generates an invoice and then that invoice and invoice line item is going to yarn but when billing comes this whole problem is gone and that's why now the most preferences is salesforce billing but because of that nowadays the news is even zora is you know trying build building these connectors this whole transformation layer which i'm talking about they are build, they are building some connectors to automate all sorts of things let's say if they build it then might be the different discussion but that's what is right now the market situation okay thanks for watching the video for full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.